Welcome in, folks. <laughs> the new ending to the trailer gets me every time. <laughs> All rise for the honorable me, Judge Learned Hand. Welcome in. Jurors, please, no need to clap. This is a court of law, not a show. Uh, folks, if you're just joining us, my name is Judge Leonard Hand, and I'll be presiding over tonight's proceedings here at the now York Superior Court. And you, our viewers at home, will be taking the part of our faithful jurors and also maybe the lawyers at certain parts. And also, <laughs> you're kind of, you kind of do a lot. And thank you for that, doing your civic duty. Tonight, we'll be hearing from a variety of defendants, alleged criminals, but people who may not actually be criminals because it will be up to you, our jurors, to decide whether or not, and we are booing already. Booing justice, typical. I fight for them, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Folks, your job tonight, in part, will be to determine whether or not these defendants are guilty of the crimes for which they stand accused. Now, obviously, we'll be asking them some questions to figure out what exactly happened with these alleged crimes, but there are a variety of other ways that you can interact with these trials. For example, you can subscribe, which I Fight For Them just did, and also uh, Giga Horse of Hell did as well, and thank you so much for that. Folks, if you subscribe tonight, you can submit written testimony, which we will display during the trials. It looks a little something like this. Here's one from Laser Lady from last time who said, he stole hit which I'm sure made a lot of sense at the time. Uh, if you want to wait maybe to uh, submit your evidence until we've started a trial, that might be the best move, but it's up to you if you want to submit it right now and just hope that it's relevant to whatever we're doing in five minutes when we start the trial, uh, that is your prerogative. Just use the exclamation point submit command and then type out your testimony. We will display it on stream. We've already got three subs and if we get 15, we'll head on down to the firing range where you will get to shoot people. Doesn't that sound like fun? So let's get 12 more and then we will get to do that. Uh, there's also ways that you can submit evidence in our Discord. So if you haven't already, you gotta join the Everything Now Show Discord. You can submit images. Whoa, Funny Bunny 046. Thank you for the five gifted. Look at that, we're already halfway, more than halfway to hitting our goal. Um, you gotta join the Discord, folks, because in the Discord you can submit visual evidence that we'll display right up here on this television screen. It'll look something like this, except imagine that there's a picture in there. Uh, a picture that you submitted. And those pictures might be vital to deciding whether or not one of our defendants is guilty or innocent. Uh, yeah, if you- We just got a $5 payment, which is usually for calling a witness to the stand. Well, and, uh, the person who tipped it just wrote, I'm gonna read it verbatim. You ready? I'm ready. Guilty, the judge is guilty, death penalty. Wow, oh. that is a horrible indictment. Thank you so much, Shane, but also fuck you. I am not guilty. I'm a normal, nice guy. I'm the judge. But Shane, Shoot his ass. thank you for the $5 donation and thank you for the perfect segue into one of the other parts of interaction that you can do tonight, which is donating $5 like Shane just did. But unlike how Shane just did, if you do donate $5, you can request a witness to come to the stand. It can be anybody, a fictional character, a celebrity. Ideally, it's somebody related to the crime in some way so that they can give us some testimony and help us figure out whether or not the defendant committed the crime. Of course, it's up to you. I'm just suggesting. So Shane, I'll give you another opportunity if you want to use your $5 later on in the show to call a witness. Uh, we'll just bank that $5 for now. And if during one of our trials you want to call a witness, uh, I guess just Tag us in the chat and we'll try to make that happen. Speaking of tagging us in the chat, Judge, it's Major Chaos's birthday. Oh my goodness, Major Chaos, happy birthday. You triggered an objection, I noticed, which I should also mention actually does something now. Uh, yes, before the triggering of the objection, sound alert did not do anything and we heard your feedback. It now does something. Uh, <laughs> what it does is uh, it adds a little tally mark to the case file of the defendant. Oops, my the third button doesn't work anymore. We'll just let the engineer deal with that. Engineer, does that third button work on your stream deck? There it goes. Yes. Perfect. Uh, my name's not engineer. I my, mean, my bailiff. bailiff. Right, bailiff. Your name is bailiff? Bailiff Roger. Wow, that is a coincidence. That's also your job. Uh, if you 
object at any point during tonight's trials, one check or X will appear on the case file. And if they get three objections, three X's on their case file, they're guilty automatically, just like in real life. Um, so keep that in mind during these uh, trials. We're not gonna count that first objection for major chaos because we don't have a defendant yet. Um, three objections and they're guilty. That's right, Data Dreamer. Um, okay, I think that's basically everything you need to know. If you don't understand how it works, you'll figure it out. Let's say hi to some of our jurors tonight. We've got Remy Jur, uh, Data Dreamer, Creative Steve, Wicked Lazy, Keith is Neat, uh, Giga Horse of Hell, welcome in. Thank you for the sub earlier. Grass Dragon, One Swag Cat, and the rest. Folks, I hope you're ready to serve some justice tonight. We're going to go ahead now and meet our first defendant. Defendant, please take your place at the podium. We're going to do things a little bit different tonight. We're going to, oh, the podium, the, the standing podium. Yep, perfect, right there. Uh, we're going to meet our defendant first, and then you guys are going to remind me of the crime that they did. And hopefully that will help make the crime kind of related to the defendant. We're going to see how it goes. Defendant, please state your name for the record. My name is PP. I'm sorry? My, my name is PP. PP. Yeah. And is that a is that first name P, last name P? First name only. One name like Madonna. Yes. Got it, PP. And uh, what is your occupation, PP? What do you do to make a living? I'm just a little guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> I'm just a little guy running around town. A little guy who runs around town. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I see. All right, PP. Well, I've got uh, some of our clerks here in the chat who are going to remind me of what it is that you stand accused of, and then we'll get this trial started. Okay. Uh, jurors, what is it that PP allegedly did? Does anyone remember? Could you guys uh, jog my memory? What did we? What did PP allegedly do? And remember, he's a little guy who runs around town. <laughs> yeah. Master, nope. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. I'll do that. He ate Walmart? Um, piss crimes? No. Stealing a donkey. Ah, first time chatter, watermelon phone, arson. That's right, it was arson. I am, no, I didn't burn nothing down. Well, PP, allegedly you did, and that's why you're here today in court. PP, do you know what arson is? Uh, it's when you're the son of an R. Close, well, far. Arson. Huh? is the burning of private uh, property. So right. setting fire to All private right. property that does not belong to you. Whatever. Okay, well not whatever, PP, not whatever, because you stand accused of that crime and if found guilty, you could be punished. Prove it. Prove prove that you could be punished? No, prove all the, the arson, I didn't do it. Well, I hope that you didn't, but technically it's your job, PP, to prove to us that you did not do that. Now, where the hell, where the hell does it say that? It doesn't say that, that's just sort of how court works. All right. Is this all your right. first time in court, PP? Yeah. Okay, I can understand that. Well, I'm gonna explain to you how it works. Basically, somebody said that you did arson, that you set something on fire. And your job, PP, is to convince myself and our jurors that you did not do that because if you don't, you will go to jail Does or it, something worse. Do I look like I would have done that? Well, I'm not gonna say you don't look like you would have done that. You definitely look like somebody who might do some strange things. We've got a $5 donation from Ice Cream Con. So well, hey, Judge, we've got some visual evidence, but first we've got some written testimony. Got it, all right. Well, PP, I think maybe some of this written testimony, some of these various pieces of evidence will maybe jog your memory and get us on track with this trial. Let's look at our written testimony first. This is from Giga Horse of Hell who said, Big Mac combo, large diet coke. Okay, and I think uh, this breakfast, witness, breakfast, go ahead, PP. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You get that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Three square meals a day. Oh, okay. So I, I thought perhaps this witness had maybe mistaken the uh, the testimony box as a lunch order, but perhaps they witnessed you ordering that from McDonald's. Uh, you day. say you get that every day. Every day, if you want to be strong. If you want to be strong. Yeah. And who told you that? My dad. Your dad taught you that a Big yeah. Mac combo every yeah. day for every meal would make you strong. My dad's Ronald McDonald. Your dad is Ronald McDonald. My dad is Ronald McDonald. Okay, well, we're learning a lot about your background, PP, and hopefully this is illuminating I didn't things. do anything. Well, that remains to be seen, PP. We've right. got some visual evidence here, and I need you to explain what it is we're looking at. Bailiff, sure. are we prepared to take a look at that? Sure are. Let's have a look, PP. I'm going to display an image here on this television. I need you to explain what that is. Now, does that, does that ring any bells for you, PP? Yellow octopus. 
I'm sorry, a yellow what? Yellow octopus. Oh, okay, interesting. Interesting that you interpret it that way. And uh, this was found at the scene of the alleged arson. Do you have any idea why it might have been there? Yeah, maybe I threw it on the ground. Okay, PP. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so just just to try, just try to have a little fun around town. You know what I mean? Just try, I see. Just try a little fun around town. Well, it's not illegal to have fun around town, PP, but it is illegal to set fire to buildings. Now, it sounds like you're something of a prankster. Do I have that right, PP? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to tell me a little bit about some of the pranks that you pull around town, PP? Um, you know, like, we'll put, like, my dad will be asleep and then we'll, like, beat the shit out of him <laughs> with cameras on and stuff. Okay, I'm... I'm not sure if I would necessarily qualify that as a prank. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess if you're using, like, jackass... Like Bam Margera terms, that would be a prank. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, all right. Are you familiar with Jackass and Bam Margera? No. You don't know what that is? I've never heard of it in my life. I feel like you Maybe would really I feel resonate like with that. With them. Yeah. You kind of have. <laughs> no, I never heard of them. I'm so sorry to interrupt, Judge. We've got three witnesses. Wow, we've got a lot of witnesses. Wow, okay. First witness. I'm just going to read this verbatim again, okay? Okay. Don't take this the wrong way. Get this guilty ass judge on the stand. Okay, that. Oh, they want me on the stand. What did you do, judge? It would be a witness. What did you do, judge? I I don't know if I did. All right, well, um. Put me in the box. I'll get your ass. I'll, I guess I'll make my way to the witness stand. I'm. This is this is highly unusual, but um. Uh. All right. right. I'll make my way over there. So how's everyone doing? We doing good. All right. Here he comes. Mr. Judge, did you do it? Um, hold on, we... Huh? Uh, my name, for the record, is Judge Learned Hand, and I am a district court judge here in the jurisdiction of now York. All right. And I guess, um... Did you do it? No, I, I didn't, I'm not on trial here, I'm a All witness. Right, no, you need to prove it. I guess my relation it's your to... Role to... It's your role to prove that you didn't do it. That's okay. you got screaming at me about for five minutes. I don't, I don't know if I can necessarily prove that I didn't do it. My relation to the defendant is that I am currently the judge hearing his trial. Your Honor, I've never seen this man in my life. Okay, well, you have seen me just a moment ago. I was sitting right up there. Circumstantial. Okay, fair. And I will, uh, I'll allow it. But I'm not sure if I'm in a position to right now as the witness. Uh, I am going to cede my time now to Judge Learned Hand. Folks, can't you see he's guilty? Folks, can't you see it? It's a simple argument. If he's not going to admit to it, he did it. Thank you, Judge Learned Hand, for your valuable testimony. Uh, we do have, I think, a few more witnesses. Right. But in the meantime, while we prepare our next witness, PP, I want to give you a chance to... Uh, state your case now that you understand a little bit more about the nature of the reason that you're in court today. Do you want to maybe put together a defense or an opening statement related to your defense? Yeah. Go ahead. A building burns in a city. Is one man to blame for the collapse of the town? If I was near the uh, building when it burned, does that mean I did it? Folks, folks, we have to think things through a little bit harder in this day and age. The birth, a birth of prudent of guilt is not, not on me. It's on the system to prove that I did it. So if you want to blame me, if you want to put a man like me in jail, that's fine. But if, if you go to sleep doing that, then you can have, you can have all the money in the world. A compelling statement, PP, and one that <laughs> wow, I'm sure Clarence will resonate. Darryl Sorry? Clarence Darrow vibes out of here. Absolutely. I just watched Made in America. Well, it <laughs> it shows. Uh, I think we have another witness we've called to the stand. Bailiff, are we prepared to hear from them? Sure. All right, let's bring the witness to the uh, to the bench. And witness, if oh, you wouldn't no. mind, please state your name for the record. My name is Ja Rule, yeah. Oh. Ja Rule, thank you for joining us today. And could you please, if you would, uh, tell us about your relation to the defendant, Mr. Pee Pee? This is my motherfucking nephew. Oh, I see. So you are you are Pee Pee's uh, uncle. Yeah. Yeah. And Ja Rule, uh, do you understand the reason why your nephew Pee Pee has been called into court today? Yeah. He definitely burned it down, yeah. Oh, come on! Okay. That's fairly damning testimony. Uh, ja Rule, what is it that makes you think Pee Pee did commit this arson? I saw him fucking do it. Oh, wow. Okay, so eyewitness testimony. 
from a family member. That's that's fairly damning. PP, do you have anything you'd like to cross-examine uh, your uncle with? Okay, whoa, all right. Whoa, whoa, that's whoa, whoa, our whoa, That's whoa, the whoa. motherfucking Bailiff. gun, yeah! This is how we do it in this family! No! Bailiff, how many times have I told you, please, you need to stop these people from bringing weapons in the courtroom. That's like literally one of your only jobs. I'm so fucking embarrassed, fuck. Yeah, I, I would be embarrassed if I were you. I thought I was supposed to defend myself. No, no, I meant with your words, PP, with your words. Okay. Uh, I want to give your uncle Ja Rule an opportunity to make any closing statements now for the record before we let them go. Ja Rule, is there anything else you want to say while you uh, are on the record? The one you want, the one you want to know. Check out my album. Uh, do you want the one you okay, want? Okay, plug, plug in his album. Wait, Very real good. quick. Yeah, go ahead. The one you want, the one. Check, check my album out. Okay, you, said, you just said that. I know. Ja Rule, thank you so much for your valuable testimony. I'm sure that will uh, influence some of our jurors one way or the other. Did we have another witness we need to call to the stage, sure Bailey? I did not get that one prepped. Great. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll let PP take some questions directly from our jurors in the meantime. PP, I want to direct your attention to our jury box over here. Uh -huh. They're going to ask you some questions directly, and I want you to answer them as truthfully as you can. Uh, jurors in the chat, if you have questions directly for uh, PP, now is the time to ask them anything you want to know, specifically, ideally, about the alleged arson, uh, but you can ask clarifying questions about his background, things like that. Uh, so go ahead, chat. It doesn't seem like uh, the chat is moving. <laughs> huh. Curious. Interesting. Well. In the meantime, my well, album. well, we did get some, we did get some subscriptions though oh. from Nova Glarian. So thank you for that. Uh, yeah, that rate's not good. Ah, uh, okay. Well, it seems like some of our jurors have stepped out. So in the meantime, I think maybe it's time to talk to another uh, witness. Do we have yeah. a witness ready? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Hold on. Okay. Do we want to maybe have one of the other? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a couple questions popping up now. Oh, there are the questions. Yeah, go ahead, PP. Am go I ahead and Kirby? Those. No! I was sick of hearing that. Did I do it? No. But if I did it, does it lean to the left or to the right? Well, it hurts perfectly in the middle. How many matches does it take to burn down a building? Well, one if you're doing it right. Or I, if your try smoke is in. And uh, be careful, PP, not to incriminate yourself. I don't want to give you legal advice here, but it does seem like you're answering you were some questions. If you were going to say, how many bullets does it take to kill a man? And I said one if it was in the right place. That doesn't mean I killed a guy. True. And fair point to you in two chances, The chance, system is, a, is, is falling apart from the inside out. Does it, you like the smell of gas? Yeah. <laughs> Sub goal achieved. I don't understand that one. Yes, well, it does appear that we've hit our sub goal, and thank you so much to everybody who subscribed and helped us reach 15 subs, which means after this trial, we will be heading to the firing range. But we've got one more witness that we need to hear from very quickly, and then it will be time to vote, jurors. So uh, we've got, we're going to hear from this witness, so don't make your decisions yet, because this witness's testimony might sway you one way or the other. A witness, please state your name for the record. My penis was my private place. My pri private private place. Remember that McDonald's jingle from the like nineties? That is not McDonald's your name. Is my kind your of place. name, witness, please. Uh, this is the. I just. Uh, my name is Ronald McFondled. Okay, and I think that's probably good on you, right? Yep. yep. I think we're good. I okay. think we're solid. Yeah, right. I was touched. And that was worth five dollars. So thank you so much for whoever paid for that. I hope. You feel like you got your money's worth from that valuable test from that valuable testimony. Judge, can I respond to something I've been please, seeing? Please, PP, please. I would love to hear your response. Everyone is saying, why the fuck do I look like this? I was gonna I wasn't gonna ask, but I was thinking it. I made this decision at one point, and we're in it! And we have to figure it out! Alright? This is I made this decision as a person, and now I live this way. You grow up in a house full of McDonald's, you get mad. Maybe you burn a building down. Maybe you don't. Maybe the person inside the building is mad at you and then you owe them money and you think if they die, you don't have to pay them. I rest my case. A compelling closing statement from PP, but now of course, your fate lies in the hands of our jurors. As we pull up a poll, Bailiff. There's, I think like a significant delay in chat for some reason. All right, well, we'll just have to yeah. deal with that. Yeah. So let's go ahead and pull up that poll. You bet. And jurors, it will be your chance now to decide whether or not PP 
committed the crime of arson. And if you're tuning in right now and you haven't already, I encourage you to refresh your stream. Perhaps that will help with the delay. I don't actually know. But while we're at it, let's also vote if the judge did it. No, Spoke. no. No, no, let's do it as an exercise, as an American exercise of the democracy system. Let's figure out if the judge did it. What I, do we know? PP, I did not. PP, I did not. Well, and I'm not on trial. Okay. No, well, fair point. Okay. All right, PP. Uh, in a moment now, our jurors are going to be voting to decide your fate. I think some of them may have stepped out to use the restroom or grab a drink, or they're just uh, on a bit of a delay. But here come some votes. So get ready, because your fate is in the hand now of the jurors. If you want to make any last remarks to directly to the jurors, any pleading that you'd like to do, PP? Yeah. When the American system fails, take it into your okay. own hands. Okay. <laughs> what? Please do not. Oh, all right, never mind. Please do not brandish any weapons in this courtroom, PP. Okay. Wow. Thank you. And here come the votes. And it appears, PP, it's closer than I thought. Did you think I was? Did you think it was gonna be open and shut? I I felt like this one was a runaway, but of course that's why I'm not in charge. It's up to our jurors. But I feel like they've come to the right conclusion here. We can close out that poll. PP, the jurors have reached their verdict and they have entered a verdict of guilty for the crime of arson. All right. And so now, PP, okay. <laughs> you seem, you seem, you, you're, you took that pretty well, honestly. Yeah, all right. You feel, well, it seems like you're, you kind of weren't surprised by that. Well, when you did the crime, you know. Okay, so you are going, you're now that you've been found guilty, you are admitting that you did the crime. <laughs> Oh yeah, man, I'm gonna spill the beans on everyone. I'm sorry, oh, okay, you had some accomplices? No. Okay, well, uh, I appreciate your candor now that you have been found guilty and perhaps that will find you a more lenient punishment, which I guess, do we wanna even bother asking the chat if it's gonna take three minutes for them to come up? Let's try it. Let's try it, let's see what happens. Jurors in the chat, the only thing left to do now that we've reached a guilty verdict is decide the punishment for our friend PP here. Now, pp has been found guilty, so chat, what is it that we're going to do to PP to ensure that he does not do arson ever again? Put me back in society. You want to be just put thrown back right into society? Yeah, this is this this was punishment enough. Just let me loose. Well, unfortunately, that is not the way that it works here, PP. We do uh, have uh, change his name to Poo Poo is the first suggestion. We have two people, two people uh, change name to Poo Poo. Okay, well. Uh, the first two responses were exactly the same, which I take as a sign that it's the right choice. For the crime of arson, PP, your name is now legally poo poo. Ah, fuck. All right. Okay. Oh, let's take this off. There we go. Ah, and we've changed it in the case file as well. And that's how you know it's official. Bye, Ja Rules album. Um, okay, and you're also you're shouting out your uncle's album. Well, he's my uncle. You know what I mean? I'm a motherfucking nephew. Yeah. All right. I guess right. by Jar Rule's album. Thank you, Poo Poo, for coming in, and uh, we hope that you've learned your lesson. Uh, no, I don't think I did. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's not a perfect system, but it's the best one we've got, folks. Thank you for joining us so far. If uh, if the bit rate's a little bit slow for you, we apologize, but go ahead and refresh that stream. We're doing the best we can with what we've got. We've also hit our sub goal. So thank you so much to everybody who subscribed. Did we get all the written testimony? I feel like we got a lot of subscriptions and we only did like one piece of written testimony. There, there was one piece of written testimony. All right, do we want to show that post hoc? Yep, yep. It Absolutely not pertinent to what just happened. Okay, well that's good, I guess. I guess we didn't we didn't miss anything important. Rest easy. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we missed. Ah, yes, Keith is neat said, turned on the alpha male jaw rule. I saw it, I saw it, he pissed on his bed. I guess that could have been pertinent. That could have been sort of pertinent. Sort of a character, sort of a character indictment of Ja Rule as a witness. Maybe maybe speaks to his credibility as a witness. In any event, it's too late now. The verdict is in and uh, the defendant was found guilty. So I hope that didn't make any of you think that the defendant was innocent because it's too late now. Hey, Judge, did Ja Rule look different to you? Nope. He looked exactly like how I remember him. I think I was thrown off by the top hat. The top hat. Ah. I don't normally think of Ja Rule wearing a top hat. That's interesting. To me, that's like one of the only things I think of. I'm I mean, in my slash era. <laughs> folks, 
We've hit our sub goal and thank you so much for that to everybody who subscribed and because we did it's now time to head on down to the firing range where you will get a chance to shoot people. It'll be very interesting <laughs> to see how this works with a delayed chat. I'm sure it will be fine. So thank you for joining us and I'm going to throw it on over to a bumper now and uh, we'll be back here so don't go anywhere. Uh, firing range is next. Folks, welcome back to the firing range. In just a moment, you'll be faced with a scenario, but not just any scenario, a scenario where you'll have to decide who is a dangerous threat and who is an innocent bystander. You'll do this by clicking on your, I'm struggling here, hold on, let me take this again. Welcome cadets, it's me, the guy, the fuck. All right, listen, you're gonna click on your screen. John, that was a big swing. I know, I took a too big a swing. All right, listen, the point is, there's gonna be two guys. You gotta click on one, the bad guy. The other guy is not the bad guy. Does that all make sense? I, I feel like I've been pretty clear here. All right, let's just try it out and see how it goes. Uh, three, two, and go. <coughs> Hey, it's me, uh, Ronald McFondled. I'm like Ronald McDonald if something kind of messed up happened with an uncle that I kept trying to forget about. That's what I'm like. What's the other target? Should, oh, whoa. I just, um, I got cold on a date, and so the guy gave me his jacket. That's really nice. You know, I dated Carrie Fisher in the 90s. Oh. I don't know if I was ready for intimacy yet. I had a lot of I work I just to got do. cold, so I needed something to warm me up, but now I feel ready to do anything. Wow, like like a carousel? With my body. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like, maybe like a romantic night at the fairground or something. Oh, maybe, is that what you thought? I was, oh God, no, no, Carrie, I love you! Great work, cadets. Never shoot a woman. <laughs> well identified. I don't even think that guy did anything wrong, but when faced with the chance to either shoot a guy or a gal, you know we gotta shoot the, the man. <laughs> All right, but this next one, oh boy, that one was easy. This one's gonna be hard. This one's gonna, that was just a warm up. All right, this next one, oh boy, this one's a real tough one. I struggled with this one when I was a cadet, but you know, times have changed. Oop, okay, hold on, don't click, don't click. Someone's clicking way too fast. Slow that shit down. All right, that was just a test to see if someone's got like an auto clicker going. You've been caught. All right. Let's get serious here, folks. Here comes the next scenario. Get ready, because here we go. In three, two, now. 
Hey folks, it's me, Doug Hamilton. If you ever, if you and your kids ever want to come over and jam in the garage, I got guitars, I got drums, you can play as loud as you want. Honestly, honestly, I don't mind. I, I used to play in a band myself. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello, I'm a billionaire. I love doing drugs and I own sh several ships. But I'm a good guy, right? Oh, hey, Mr. Billionaire! I bet you have a blast out there, huh? Shut up, peasant. Oh, ho, ho, you fucking got me, you billionaire. Don't kill me if you do. I will sick my family members on your family. Oh, don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> Who are they going to shoot if they shoot me? Alan? They can oh, shoot me if they need to. Oh! Oh. Great work, cadets. It was the billionaire. That guy was a piece of shit. And also, 283 clicks on that one? No shot. Who's cheating? All right, let's get serious, folks. You killed that freaking billionaire, and good work for that. But let's let's get focused, okay? Because these first two scenarios, yeah. I know I said that last one was going to be hard. I lied. <laughs> I was just trying to get your ego ready, because this next one... Ooh, boy. This next one... Yeah, let's just say this one was actually programmed by a computer to be the hardest one we have. <laughs> yep, it's gonna be really tough. But that's what you gotta do when you're a cadet. So let's, let's do it. Hey there, my name is uh, Gregory Sportello, part-time Uber driver, full-time insistent that I invented Google. I was there when, they, when the guys made it and I came up with most of the good ideas, including the letters looking different color. Hi, I just got really cold on, on the ship. And so this guy gave me his life jacket, uh, but I got really cold. So now I don't feel as cold and I'm ready to do whatever with my body. Sounds pretty suspicious. I would try to shoot them if I were you. Well, I'm just, I'm fine. Like everyone likes me at my school. You know the Google Doodle? I did that. Interesting. I did both of them. And then they started saying, well, maybe we'll do a couple others. And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa slow down. All right. I'm just cold and stuff. Think I about just, it. Like, have you ever been in cold water or anything? Cause like, I am just like kind of cold. I said all oh, time and time again, we don't, oh, oh. We don't need more Google Duels than the ones for MLK Day and like late Labor Day. That's Great true. work, cadets. You identified again not to shoot the girl. Really well done. <laughs> And also, I made it so that only one click per user this time, and oh, look at that. Now there's only 25 clicks. We went from 300 to 25. Who's doing auto-clicker? Who's just spamming? Come on. Be a normal guy. You can click that fast if you want. I guess you can click that fast. All right. We've got one more. We've got one more scenario here. And this one, this one was actually designed to be impossible. <laughs> yep. It's like Ender's Game. You guys remember Ender's Game when they were like, all right, Ender, you're too smart. You're too smart for this. We made one that's too too fucking hard. It's not even possible. This is like that. Y'all seen Ender's Game? No! All right, let's start. <laughs> hey, I'm Trevor. I'm a single dad on Halloween just trying to do my best. So I dressed up like a pirate, but I'm a cowboy for my day job. And it's me, Kelly and Murphy's dad. Out here to try and teach you a lesson about life. Just two dads out here doing our best. Killian Murphy came from wealth. I'm piss poor. Poop, poop and piss poor. But I had to kill everyone I know to get that fortune. <laughs> yeah, he's a killer. He should be killed. Me? I'm a lover. I should be loved. Don't kill me. Come Don't on fill on. me with bullets. Don't listen to him. Come on over to my place. We'll get wild. That's weird. Why? Why? Don't come to my place. It's just me and my son doing my best. Come on. If you now. guys shoot me, I'm gonna. I I'll can kill make you, myself. I can make you one in Oscar. I can get you one. Oh, I can get you one. Wait, really? I can get you one if you want. Yeah. People do say I look like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> you do. You really do. Be my son. Oh man. Well, if this is my final words, I gotta say I love my son. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hey. <laughs> Great work, cadets. It's always tough when it's two dads. But you made the right choice. The cowboy. He was the real threat, even though it was really sad to kill him. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes that's just how it goes. All right, cadets, 
I think you're ready to go out for field training now, but we might bring you back here if you guys give us enough money. Okay, goodbye. Ah, oops, you've caught me. Having a delicious Voodoo Ranger hard charge tea. The only thing that helps me serve justice with a bite. I don't know, we gotta workshop that. Folks, when I'm not drinking delicious Voodoo Ranger hard charge tea, I'm serving up justice here in the Everything Now, Now York Superior Court. My name is Judge Learned Hand. If you're just joining us, we've got a series of defendants here. Let me get this microphone out of the shot. Ah, good enough. That sounded so good, Joe. I'm sure that sounded awesome for the viewers at home. Folks, if you're just joining us, my name is Judge Learned Hand, and we've got some alleged criminals here who you're going to have to help me decide whether or not they committed the crime they allegedly are accused of. Well, not they're not allegedly accused. They are accused, but it's unclear whether or not you get it. The point is, we're going to be asking them questions, but there's a variety of other ways that you can help determine whether or not they did these crimes. For example, in a moment, we're going to be resetting this sub goal and you can subscribe to submit evidence in a written format that looks something like this. Keith said, turned on the alpha male Ja Rule. I saw it, he pissed on his bed. <laughs> and I'm sure, I'm sure that made a lot of sense at the time. If you want to submit written testimony about the next trial, go ahead and subscribe and maybe wait until the trial is happening to write something relevant to the trial. You can also submit images and we'll display them here on this television screen if you trigger them with a sound alert. You got to join the Discord for that, folks. So if you haven't already, join the freaking Discord. And if you donate $5, you can call a witness to the stand. We did that last time we talked to me. We called me to the stand. Wasn't that interesting? But you can call somebody else as well. It's now time, though, to get to our next trial, so let's go ahead and meet our next defendant. Defendant, please take your place at the podium, and uh, if you wouldn't mind, please state your name for our record. Hello! My name is Isaac! Hello, Isaac! Uh, and can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? What do you do for a living, Isaac? I'm about to audition for colleges on a theater scholarship! Wow, okay, so I guess... Uh, Isaac, first of all, the do you have a last name, name Isaac? On everybody's <laughs> list is gonna be Roxy. Very charming, Isaac. Isaac, what is your last name? Do you have one? Yep, Smith. Isaac Smith. Isaac Smith is a Smith Bird. Smith Bird? Is that hyphenated? Smith Bird. Right. Is that all one word or? The name <laughs> on everybody's list is gonna be. Say it, Judge. Roxy. 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 Roxy Hart. All right, Isaac Smith Bird, a college hopeful applying for a theater school. Uh, just one moment, 
Isaac, I'm gonna have my clerks in the chat remind me of what it is that you allegedly did. Uh, chat, can you remind me what it is, what crime it is that uh, Isaac Smith Bird here allegedly committed? Uh, being a theater kid, well that, uh, that much we definitely know. But is there something, is there choked a chicken, Roxy? This is not a crime, this is a name. I think there's a little bit of delay here with our uh, viewers in the chat. Um, guilty of a northern is... What? Guil okay, guilty like northern is quilty. Okay, all right, there we go. Now they're coming in. Uh, money laundering from Katya. Thank you, Katya. We are going to take money laundering. That's a reminder for me. Thank you, uh, money, Isaac money, Smithbird. Money, money, <laughs> Makes me funny. In a rich man's world, ow! Oh! Well, Isaac, money, money, money make, might make you more than funny. It might make you guilty today. Whoa! All the things I can do if I had a little money. It's a judge. It's an alleged rich crime. Man's world. Now, Isaac, I appreciate the show tunes, and we're having a lot of fun here, but it's time to get serious. Do you understand the nature of the crime for which you stand accused? Whoa! All the things I could do! Isaac, <laughs> I feel like you're not taking this seriously, and we've got a serious issue here, because there's some visual testimony, or some visual evidence I'm going to display on this television, and I need you to focus up, okay? Because you were on trial for a crime, and yeah, if things don't... go the wrong way for you, you could be in a real bad place. Does anyone know a song from Dear Evan Hansen? Waving through a window, I try to speak, but nobody can hear. So we're out for it to appear. So All right, let's show the visual testimony, please. I feel like I'm having a hard time getting through to this uh, to this uh, defendant. <laughs> now, please, defendant, can you can you let us know what it is we're looking at right here? Cats, the musical. There we go. Ah, uh, I see. So you were rehearsing for Cats the Musical, and it seems like perhaps there was some issues going on with the finances. Was everything, you know, above board with the financing? Jellico to jelly jelly kill cats. Jellico cats, jellico, jelly jellico, jellico cats. Jellico, jellico, jellico cats. Jellico, jelly jellico cats. Isaac. Do Mr. Mistopheles. Do not do Mr. Mistopheles. Bailiff, do, do not encourage him. We need Isaac to answer a question here. Isaac, Isaac. Damn it, Isaac. I need you to focus up here. We've got some more evidence here. We're gonna display it in a minute. Let's turn off the TV so we can prep that. Isaac, I need you to answer a question for me. You cannot keep, turn off the TV. We cannot keep singing like show tunes, all right? We're going I, in circles. If I don't practice for my audition, I'm never gonna get into Purdue. Well, you're never gonna get into Purdue if you're found guilty of a crime, okay? They don't, uh, college admissions officers really do not like look you kindly. I'd really shut up right now. All right, careful. Careful, Isaac. I do not want to hold you in contempt. Does this look like a guilty person? No. I promise. It remains to be seen, Isaac. Now, I need you to, first of all, acknowledge the crime. Do you understand what money laundering is? All we've done so far is sing show tunes. I need you to talk about the crime. The crime is that I put money in the laundry. What's wrong? Okay, see, this is what I was I afraid of. I sing show tunes when I'm doing my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you don't understand the nature of the crime, but that doesn't necessarily mean you didn't commit it. We've got another piece of visual evidence here, Isaac, and I'm going to direct your attention to this television screen. I need you to tell us what we're seeing. Can you just watch my audition, please? What is this? He's going to stand for Equus. Talk about Equus. Is that music Have, for a play? Haven't you seen... Haven't you seen... I... Uh, uh, war horse. War horse? <laughs> yes, iron ho war horse. This is a stage production of war horse? Yes. I see, okay. So it seems like uh, you're doing quite professional productions. Cats, war horse. Uh, where's Mama the money Mia, coming from? Chicago. Dear Evan Hansen. Call me by your name, the musical. <laughs> All of them. Okay, I... 
I can see that you've got quite a catalog, Isaac, and I need you to tell me, how is it that you're financing these very expensive uh, shows? Your Honor, I object. And thank you. That, I feel like, is a long time coming. We have our first objection, our first strike. Isaac. Oops. What? Can I sing a if song we get a, now, if we get, please? Can I sing a song? You've sang so many songs already, Isaac. I need Give you to focus up. Give me any musical, I'll sing a song. And there's a second objection, Isaac. Please, Let's let raise the sing. price of that so that we don't get rid of them too quickly, Bailiff. Yeah. Uh, but Isaac, you're on thin ice. One more strike and you're found guilty, so I think you need to focus up. And tell me where you're getting the money for these productions. And also, we've got a witness coming to the stand. Oh, this is awesome, okay. Can we get? Can we get? Okay, good, good. Oh uh, shit! No. We need. We need a bailiff at the computer. I, no, I'm, t no, I'm telling you. Oh, okay, okay. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Sorry. Please. I didn't. I. I just want to do my audition for you. All right. While we prepare this next, wait. I think we got another objection. We got a we got bunch four. more. There's four of them. All right. Excuse me. Please let me do my audition. Well. I don't have the third objection button. The and the uh, bailiff is going to need to do that. Please let me do my audition. Isaac, you've it already been found guilty. Portion. But I will I will give you the opportunity. All right, we're getting a lot of objections. Did we raise the price? Yeah. Okay. There's a delay. I see. Um, I wonder if the delay is also... Well, well I guess we'll find out. It's because I'm a theater kid. They don't want me up here. Please. All right, we're going to give you an opportunity to do your audition, Isaac, but we first need to hear from this witness, and then we'll close on your audition. So, uh, Bailiff, are we ready to hear from this witness? Two seconds. Yep. Okay. Yep, or two seconds? Yep, now we're ready. Okay. Uh, witness, please state your name for the record. Hello, I am <laughs> wow. Android Lloyd Webber. <laughs> Incredible. Android Lloyd Webber, uh, can you oh, please... Oh, please, please let me do a song for him. Okay, actually, yeah, this will be good. So we'll let we'll let our defendant, Isaac Smithbird, who is currently already guilty of the crime of money laundering, audition for you, uh, Android Lloyd Webber. And uh, I guess we'll see if you get the part. So we're going to give you the floor, and then Android Lloyd Webber, we're going to let you give notes or your take on the audition. The floor is yours, Isaac Smithbird. Go ahead and do your audition. I will be performing a number from Andrew Lloyd Webber's... Who is that? Incredible Who show. Who is Andrew Lloyd Webber? And I only know Android Lloyd, <laughs> Lloyd Webber, which is me. Joseph and the Amazing Technical and Dreamcoat. His coat was red and yellow and green and brown and scarlet and black and ochre and peach and hold, ruby hold, and olive hold, and violet hold, and fall. Hold. And let's pause for a second. We've got some notes here, I think, from Andro Android. Uh, first note is, I did not write Joseph and the Amazing Technic Color Dream Coat. I <laughs> wrote <laughs> Joseph and the Mechanical <laughs> Colored dream coats. <laughs> That's right, Isaac Smithberg. Do you want to do Joseph and the mechanical colored dream coat? Yes. I would like to. Please let me much. do it. Please let me do it. All right, we'll let you do one more chance, Isaac. But then we really need to punish you for your crime. His his coat was red and yellow and green and brown and scarlet and black and hold, hold, and peach hold. and ruby. Those are the same lyrics. You're just yeah. saying it I in a robotic that too. tone. <laughs> I know it's that. It seemed like it was His, just you were oh, doing I a different Oh, I have it, I have it, I have it. Okay, all right. His coat was gray and gray and gray and gray and mechanical The lyrics gray. are, the coat was gray and gray and gray and <laughs> mechanical and gears and screws and... Oh, 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 let me do it again. His coat was gray and gray and gray and mechanical screws and gray and bolts and gray. Ah. That was great. I must execute you now. Okay, all right. Well, I guess that's the punishment. Uh, Android Lloyd Webber, yeah, pick one of you two go into the other person's shot so that we can show you killing her. Him. Say goodbye, His coat Isaac. was gray and gray. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> I guess that's the punishment for being guilty. Uh, Android Lloyd Webber, any closing remarks? Please check out Ja Rule's new album. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, plugging Ja Rule's new album. Thank you, Android Lloyd Webber. We got some uh, written testimony. Okay, we missed, just happened, we yeah. keep missing that. That one's not on you, though, uh, Bailiff. We, we didn't have time. Burke, <laughs> thank you for this testimony. Saw them underage drinking Voodoo Rangers backstage. Ah, well... 
What can you say? Some of these underage kids can't help the cool, refreshing taste of Voodoo Ranger hard charged tea. That's legal here. It's actually the only drink that you're allowed to drink underage in this jurisdiction. And is it okay for us to say that? I guess we'll find out. We've got another one. We've got another one, and it's time to read some more witness testimony. Let's have a look at what this person said. VTAC vs. The World said, They are a fraud. Not a show tune singer slash dancer, but a children's rapper. I don't know if I, I don't know if I read that in the right inflection. Well, in any event, in any event, these all feel like they're indictments of this person's character, and so they align with the ultimate conclusion of the trial, which of course is that they were guilty and sentenced to death by being, I guess, murdered by Android Lloyd Webber. We've got one more piece of written testimony here. It was submitted by some other Rachel who said, "Let the record show that the defendant doesn't know the words." And again, thank you. Thank you for entering that into the record, some other Rachel. It will be included, uh, Rachel, even though uh, it was submitted after the verdict was ac uh, eventually brought. That is valuable testimony for public record for anybody who wants to go back and look up this trial. Welp, uh, thank you all for your valuable testimony and your various pieces of evidence, folks. Another one in the books. Bailiff, what do we think? Do we want to go to the interrogation B game, or do we want to try to squeeze in one more trial? Let's do one more trial, and then we'll throw to the uh, interrogation B game. We got a lot of time before the next advertisement. Got it. Okay, great. Well, folks, if you're just joining us, my, game, my name again is Judge Learned Hand, and tonight we're holding trials for defendants who are accused of crimes. Uh, we're about to bring out our next defendant, and just as a reminder to everybody watching at home, you can interact with these trials in a variety of ways. You'll be given an opportunity to ask some questions directly to the defendant, but you can also submit evidence by subscribing and writing out your testimony, which will display kind of like this. Uh, you can also submit visual evidence, which will display on this television screen, but you got to be in the Discord to submit images. So if you haven't already, join the Everything Now Show Discord. There should be a link in the chat or in the panels below the video player. And uh, you can submit images. You might see yours on this TV screen if someone triggers the sound alert. And of course, for $5, you can call a witness like Android Lloyd Webber to the stand. But now let's meet our next defendant and figure out what their whole deal is. Defendant, please take your place at the podium. And I'll uh, call you back. <laughs> I'll call you back. Hi there. Who are you talking to? Talking to my baby mama or whatever. Oh, I see. All right. Well, uh, that's fine. But please, now it's time to focus up. Sir, what is your name? Could you please state it for the record? Declan. Declan and uh, your full legal name, please, Declan. My first name is Deck. My last name is Lan. Oh, I see. Okay. That was your full name. Yep. Deck Lan. What's good, everybody? Just uh, want to shout out my Twitter. I post sick car edits. <laughs> okay, well, that will be entered into the record. Uh, Declan, uh, okay, I guess I was going to ask what you do for a living. Is that uh, is the car editing thing a, a, a job or a hobby? Uh, basically, the answer is like, what don't I do for a living? I honestly am like a jack off all trades. <laughs> I do like tons of different stuff like... I'm a car doctor, so I have uh, mechanics and stuff, and then also I do other sick ass shit like, you know, say what's up to your girl <laughs> and shit or whatever. Please do not say what's up to my girl, Declan. She's my wife. Uh, we do have some visual evidence here, which I'm excited to take a look at, but before we do that, we need to figure out, oh, a couple of pieces of visual evidence. And I already know what's coming through, because I know they're trying to stop me. I know they're trying to stop me. Interesting. So you think there's some people out to get you. Well, before yeah. we get too far down this trail, Declan, I need our, uh, our uh, clerks in the chat to remind me what it is that you allegedly did. And we've got another piece of visual evidence, so let's raise the price of that just a touch. And uh, chat... <laughs> If you wouldn't mind, please remind me of what it is that uh, Declan is accused of. I shouldn't even be here, man. This is such a waste of my time, dude. I can be making a 99 Honda Civic edit right now. Well, it'd be sick. I could go like, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be able to get you in and out of here quickly, Declan. But before I got we stuff do... to do, man. I'm also uh, I'm selling Pokemon cards outside of the the court. If you guys want to come through, I got some very real. Charizards, shadowless hard or tar Charizards. Okay, I feel like I either you or I had a stroke near the end of your sentence there, but in any event, yeah, stroke, three stroke, yeah. 
Shut up. Yeah, uh, we have we have the crime that you were allegedly accused of here. I know. And it was stealing baby birds from the nest. Fulaloof reminded me that it was stealing baby birds from their nest. Nah, nah. I don't play like that. I don't play like that. I don't play like that. No. Nah, well, nah. I sure hope not, Declan, because that's a high crime in this jurisdiction. Now, I know. We've got quite a bit of visual <laughs> evidence here. And uh, we're going to take a look at it here. I'm going to show you the evidence here on this television screen. And Declan, I just need you to tell me what it is that we're looking for and how it may or may not relate to the crime of stealing birds from their nest. Yeah, I can't see that. I got my glasses off. Okay. Oh, that's a shrimp dunking. That's a shrimp dunking. Yes. And I actually, have I committed any crimes, officer? I'm filming you for my protection and yours. Oh, okay. Uh, you're, you're saying so you know, I'm... All I'm right. currently filming right now, officer. You are free to film. Uh, I know. We've got another. Do you want to explain how the shrimp dunking is related to potentially your defense? Yeah, that's uh, basically my uh, abalai was the night of the baby bird snatching, basically. I was doing a sick rap on a, 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 four, a, a 4D Mazda for my boy Skivvy. And the rap on his... Shut up. Laughing at me. Sorry. It's my baby mom. She's always laughing at me. She thinks she thinks I should do standing up comedies. I shouldn't, dude. I'm not funny. I'm real. I'm serious. So compelling yeah. testimony, uh, yeah. Declan. But we've got another piece of visual evidence here, and I need you to explain oh, how this relates to your defense. That's Bo Baffett. I'm sorry. That's Bo Baffett. I see. And and is Bo Baffett related to your alibi? Uh, yeah, I was wearing a Bo Baffett welding helmet when I was doing the rap for Skivvy. So I was wrapping the car uh, with that uh, shrimp dunk. So if you think I was stealing birds, y'all tripping, to be honest. You hear me? Y'all tripping, jurors. Well, jurors, we'll have to decide whether or not you're tripping or not. And thank you, Potato Sloth, for the 10 months. But we've got, I think, probably My like boy Sloth! Okay. <laughs> Careful now, if you've got, uh, it's not fair to pack the jury with people who are sympathetic to your cause. Are you, do you know Potato nah, Sloth? That I just, I'm a fan of his. That fool hates me. Okay. <laughs> um, we've got another piece of evidence here. Can you describe how this relates to your defense? Hot ass Lois falling into a ditch. I see. And yeah. uh, do you have relations with this woman, Lois? Uh, nah, of course not. I would never do that. I would never cheat on my baby mama. Are you kidding me? I see. That's okay. Right. So never. So how is hot ass Lois falling into that ditch related to your alibi? That's just that's just some chick I I never seen before, bro. And I don't look at that stuff online. I don't look at Lois. I don't look at like I don't look at that weird shit. I'm chill. Interesting. All right. Well, it will be up to our jurors to decide the credibility of that particular testimony. But we've got, I think, what? How many? Maybe two more of two these? Two more. Two more. Here's another piece of evidence here. <laughs> Hit me with it. And this looks like maybe... Oh, my boy Thomas. Okay. <laughs> Dude, okay. Thomas came through one day. I was actually like... I was trying to give him a jump. By the way, $10 jumps in the Walmart parking lot. Wow, you really are a jack off all trades. Yeah, I jack off all trades everywhere, bro. Literally, wherever I want to do, I'll jack off all trades everywhere. And literally, like, I was jumping this fool Thomas, and he came through, and he came at me like, like with ton, like, like hell of energy, hell of energy. It was pissed, and he was like trying to, uh, like, come at me punching, and I'm like, bro, you're obviously on the drugs. Interesting. So you're admitting that you associate with potentially some unsavory uh, characters. I don't Declan. associate with nobody. All I'm right. only associating with me, and I'm honestly filming, and this is all, Have I? Ha, am I being detained right now? Technically, yes. Technically, you're currently... I'm being detained right now? Well, technically, you're you're being uh, questioned as it relates to a potential crime. So, What's so up? yes, this we'd rather Declan, you not I'm leave. currently being detained by this... Lame ass judge trying to tell me I did something wrong, which I didn't do. I would never touch a baby bird. Those things are gross and they look like ball sacks. Okay, well, weird. It's to be determined. We've got a few more pieces of evidence. We're going to get through them very quickly because I think we've also got a witness we need to talk to and we need to get of our jurors an opportunity to ask some questions. So, yo, Bailiff, are we showing visual evidence? Last piece of visual evidence or did we finish those? Uh, we got one more. Okay, here we go. Should Sorry. I just throw, show some written evidence while we wait? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Condor Man says, what the eagle behind Judge pointing at? Okay, so more of kind of a question for me than a piece of testimony written to this, uh, to the case at hand. Uh, the eagle's not pointing. Its I wings are just spread 
as if it were about to take flight. That's that actually point. untrue because in Article 6.2, it tells you our founding parents actually taught us to point north and south because that's the way the sun always goes and the eagle is our amazing man. We love him and I love America. It's, it's sick here. <laughs> By the way, my phone died if I could connect this and... You want I to connect to, I jumper cables phone. to your phone? Yeah, I got a phone. I this. would rather you not do that. We've got another piece of written testimony we're going to take a look at and a piece of visual evidence. Let's look at the visual evidence first. And this is, I think, like Bro. just a little low res tiny bird. Guy. I didn't. That was not the bird that I took. Okay, it does. I it, didn't take that bird, bro. It does look a lot like a bird that was potentially removed from its nest, Declan. No, duh, but I didn't do it, and you're freaking, you're capping if you think this. Well, how, Declan, did that bird end up outside of its nest if not by taking from you? Birds fall out of the nest all the time. Are you kidding me? I Birds didn't fall. think of that. They fall I did not all think the time. about that. Just because I was in the vicinity. Oh, I shouldn't have said I was in the vicinity, dude. You're right. That birds sometimes fall out, and I forgot about that, and I'm sorry. Yes. But isn't it great now that we had this conversation to come to that conclusion? It is, and I think the jurors need to know this. Like, I agree. Currently, as you're choosing if I'm guilty or not, not, not guilty, like, you should know. Birds fall out all the time. Just because I was in the vicinity doesn't mean I took a bird a little weird ball sack looking thing i'm not weird and like took it out and put it on the ground that's sus and weird and also cringe and now i know that yeah but now it's time to talk to maybe some yeah, witnesses witness. yeah let's hear a witness great okay we've got a handful of witnesses i think let's hear from this first one uh this is hello okay okay hi this i have is... to call you back i have to call you back i'm on the stand hi ma'am ma'am ma ma could you please hang up the phone okay you're okay. testifying no. this is all going in the record you are looking gorgeous right now, Shadi. Oh, oh my, my god. god, he's literally flirting with uh, me right now. Permission to approach my <laughs> baby mama right quick. Uh, I guess granted. Duh. Yo, you're looking good as hell, like seriously. I don't want even, kid. don't even. I'm down for another kid if you're chilling, like later. Dude. All right, can you can we please separate the defendant and the witness? This is potentially tampering. Now, yes. witness, though, I Thanks, agree they Bayless. look great together, but that's not the point. Witness, please state your name, your legal name for the record. Lee Ann. Leanne, thank you for joining us. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, tell us a little bit about your relation with the defendant, Mr. Deck Land. Oh my God! Stop! Hey, I know you're thinking what I want to do oh with these, baby. God. Chill, please, chill, Declan. Chill. Declan, please, Stop. please, yes, please, judge, Declan. He, judge, put him in jail because <laughs> I, I have, I want to see him behind bars. Baby, <laughs> what? I want to see him. Wrapped up in the bar. <laughs> hey, just because there's bars doesn't mean we can't still do the thing through them. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. This is starting to broach into some territory <laughs> that I don't think you want to go down. I want to focus us up a little bit here. Capri Sun Poppy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Um, <laughs> oh my God, Capri Sun Poppy. <laughs> He's that's my, my boy. He's my he's my um my gynecologist. Yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> that, I love doctors. Your baby that are mama's that. gynecologist is your boy. Yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> All right, well, I hooked him up, dude, with the best client. My baby mama, come here, baby. Give me. All mama. right, we need you guys. Can we separate them? Yeah, Please. we gotta separate us, dude. Something's about to go down here. <laughs> Sorry. Energy is electric, judge. I yeah. I don't disagree that their energy is electric, and that's wait, why babe, I think it's wait, important babe, that we babe, keep babe. them separate. Babe, babe, I yeah. just texted you. Okay, I'm gonna check my phone. Okay, oh, please. Dead. We need all communication to be verbal here because we're establishing a record. So I would, I would rather you not text each other during this You're trial. Right. Judge, can I just say I want? I'm right in front of you. I want to fully apologize to you right now, Judge, and say I'm sorry for what I've done, and I want you to just forgive my ass because I am trying my best, bro. All right. Well, we've got a lot of witnesses we need to get to here. So Leanne, Don't do you have look. any closing? Don't look. Don't look. You better Whoa. not be taking a picture of that. Oh! Don't look. Leanne, Leanne, please. For real, Leanne. Please, this is a professional chill. courtroom. We'd like okay, to keep it that fine. way. Okay, Do you fine. have- You guys are such uh, tight, uh, tight wads. <laughs> I'm trying not to be. I'm trying to be cool. I'm you, trying to be you cool, You are a Leanne, cool judge. You are a cool judge. But you're cool testing judge. me. Leanne, do you Wait. have any closing remarks? Because we gotta judge, let you go. Judge, check your phone. She texted you something crazy, bro. We are looking for a third. We are Polly. Judge, check your phone. I am bipolar sexual too, so I'm down for like either one. Check your phone. Jesus Christ, okay. Okay, we cannot show that on That's screen. after seven kids too, my dog. We cannot show that, okay? <laughs> Still looking good as hell. Show us, tell him. I cannot, we cannot let my wife know that you sent that. Wait, 
Check your phone. I will not be checking my phone. You better again. check your check phone, my dude. This could very easily get me fired. Check Let's your see phone those one nipples. One All right, I am going to look at it because this could potentially be very it's important evidence. evidence. It's evidence. It's evidence. Okay, if this is evidence, I'm going to take a look at it. But it better, I promise it better you, be relevant promise, to the trial. I promise oh, it's you, relevant. It's evidence. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, evidence Jesus. My oh my God. Person. Oh my God. How That's is it? a butthole and a puss. Evidence. I don't know how it gets that far up there. Evidence it's not. Of of my genitals. All right, yeah. uh, Leanne, you're excused. You are free to go, no, Leanne. Please, please. don't. I Leanne, no, try we and have, sell those Pokemon we, cards how many, out there. Do we have other witnesses, Bailiff, that yeah, we need we to talk to? All right, Leanne, we got to let you go. We got to get hey. you out of here. Leanne, we got I other love you, baby. So hey. awesome, and I wish I, I, wish I had more. <laughs> if you have the baby Jesus out there, Christ. remember to name it Judge, like we said. Uh, hey, we're naming the baby after you. Okay, my name is not Judge. Yes, I love your name, dude. I've seen it before. One second, I just... Texted you, Judge, one more thing. Okay. Just give her like 20 more minutes, bro. Evidence. Come on. God damn it. God. Ah. That's just butthole. Ah. That's just butthole. Oh. That's after seven kids, too, bro. God. We did have one butt baby. Judge, oh. I don't think that's admissible. I you had a you butt a baby? All right. Yeah. Oh my God. Little, very little, little known fact, but you can actually have butt children. Okay. I don't think I that's true. Butt child. That was it. Yeah. Comes out of the butt. All right. We've got one more witness. And then I guess we're gonna vote. I don't know. This one really got away from me. Why? What why? do you mean you why? Can't handle me? I I'm beginning to think I can't. As a reminder to this witness and to this entire courtroom, the trial we are hearing right now is whether or not the defendant Declan is guilty of the crime of stealing birds from their nests. All right. I feel like we all got a little bit taken by what happened with his baby mama just a yeah. moment ago. So I want to focus this back up. Witness, please, if you wouldn't mind, state your name for the record. Hi, oh, yeah, my name is Bo Baffett, and this motherfucker's been stealing birds from me for 10 fucking hours. Nah. I don't know what he's doing with those birds. Nah. Put him back. Nah. What are you doing with my birds? Bo Baffett, All right. stop, bro. All what? right, hey, order. Order, to please. Be friends. Yo, just because that Star Wars money ended doesn't mean you got to come for me because you have a weird bird collection, freak. I get to do what I want with the money from the Mandalorian, however I damn well please. All right, hold you on. Get to come in and take Mr. Baffitt, please, please, I will give you an opportunity to make your testimony, and then Declan, I will give you an opportunity to respond. But we have to do this in a civilized manner. Declan, actually, Bo Baffitt, Bo Baffitt, if you wouldn't mind, please tell us about your relationship to Declan. How did you meet, and what is your relationship? We met on the set of Star Wars when they were making the new one. He came through, $10 jumps, jack off all trades. And you know, I, the, the slave one, which is the name of the ship, it had gone down and I needed a guy to jump the ship so I could get Han from Sand Planet all the way to the other side of space. And we, you know, we start having a couple of beers. This guy's a fucking trip. I tell him about my idea for birds. Next thing I know, cut to all these years later, I find him in my backyard taking my birds. That's not even true. That is actually, that is cringe. <laughs> all right. It's an interesting defense, but I want to hear the rest of it. So now well, I want to give you an opportunity to respond, I Declan. Can, can I rebut hole? Please. <laughs> all right. That is not the term, but yes, you may cross-examine the witness. All right, so this is my rebut hole. Here's the thing. I don't want to be famous no more. That's why I don't talk about how I worked on Return of the Jedi's, all right? I don't want to talk about that, all right? Yes, I do know Bo Baffett. I thought we were still chilling. I am not touching his weird ass birds. In fact, I think they're cringe and weird and sus and holding a bird looks kind of like a sack and I'm not down with that, bro. All right? All right, thank you for your cross-examination. Bo Baffett, do you have any final uh, thoughts that you'd like to add to the record before we let you go? You can't trust this guy as far as you can throw him. You cannot. If you get, if you come across this man and you tell him you have birds, they will be in his car and I have no idea what he's doing with them. Also, uh, Judge, check your phone. Check your phone, Judge. Oh my God, yeah. oh my God. Why did you put a helmet on it? Yeah, well, you we, put were a helmet sexual, on it. we were it's sexuals. It's kind of cute. We were doing sexuals. It's, it's kind of cute, but horribly inappropriate, Mr. Baffitt. Ah, oh, come on. I didn't even know they made helmets that small. Oh, well, you can get anyone to do it. You, 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 can, right. you can hire ILM to do anything. 
Bo Babbitt, you are excused. We've got four pieces of written evidence that we're going to look at in rapid succession. I'm and glad then, we're going to. I'm Declan, glad. we are going to vote to decide uh, your fate. So here's our first piece of evidence or testimony here from the potato sloth who says, stole my girl before stealing the uh, baby birds from my great aunt's tree. Exactly. See? That's proof right there. I'll steal your girl, but I will not steal your birds. No, it, it said that you did steal the birds. That was, that was part of the testimony. For real? <laughs> yes, real? but that's only one piece of uh, evidence, one piece of testimony from a witness. Dryshod says, I just got here and I think I'm guilty. Sorry. Okay, interesting. Maybe so, he is. Maybe I'm not. A potential, a potential third party here that could speak to your innocence, uh, Mr. Declan. Another potential culprit here. Uh, someone is self-incriminating. Unusual, but worth uh, hearing. Let's go to the next piece of written testimony here from Clay, uh, Clayton Death, who says, Yo, what's crack a lacking? I'm Deck and Lee Ann's baby. What's up? My dad uh, took a baby bird from the nest and replaced me with it. LMAO. Yo. Interesting. Okay, so this Terry, appears to be your son. What are you doing, Terry? That's, that's my son. That's Terry. That's our fourth son. Wow, one of your children. And and they're alleging that they you replaced them with a bird that you stole from the nest. He's talking about a VR game. He's talking about a what? He's talking about a VR game. He's talking about a VR game. He's talking about a VR game we play. You're saying that there's a VR game where you replace your children with baby birds? It's an open world game. It's an open world game. It's an open world game. You can do anything you want. All right. Well, we're going to have to see if the jury buys that. But we've got one last piece of written evidence here from Nova Glarion who says, yeah, I buy birds from this guy all the time. He's one of the main suppliers for my family restaurant. I don't bird no more. That's why I do VR open world, so I don't have to do it for real no more. And I don't want to be famous no more. That's why I don't do Jedi movies no more. Well, you guys are, this is, I'm done. Declan, it does seem like, oh, sorry. that's all right. Declan, it does seem like the uh, testimony against you in this case is fairly unanimous. However, we do seem to have one last minute witness we're going to bring to the uh, to the bench here. So thank God. Uh, in a moment, we're going to hear from them. And then jurors, uh, I, I encourage you to wait before you make your decision because this jurors testimony, or sorry, this witness testimony might shift your perspective. We only have a little bit of time here, so we got to talk to them. I know exactly quickly. who it is, too. They're going to save my ass. Juror, please state your name for the record. What up? My name is Brian. I'm his lawyer. Thank you. <laughs> okay. It's not funny. It's interesting. Typically, an attorney would uh, work not as a witness, but as a... Uh, never mind. Uh, well, they've been trying to keep my fucking ass from getting into this courthouse. So I was out there being like, let me get in there with my boy. For real, he's part of the witness protection program. <laughs> he's part of the witness protection program. Yeah, so you know, that's why he can witness eyes. I see. Wants. So, okay, I guess that's probably why he introduced his name as Declan's lawyer and not his name. That is his name legally. He has changed it to that. Now. Okay, well... Good fucking try trying to get yeah. my name in a courtroom, for dude. real, dude. Fuck off. By, the, right. by the way, come out to Joshua Tree. Everyone looks like us. <laughs> <laughs> USC grads, dude. Yeah, we all come. Th we go to USC LA and then we leave and we go out there. All right, tree. we got to get this testimony very quickly because it's For time real. to vote. We got to hurry up. Uh, Mr. Declan's attorney, do you have any uh, testimony you'd like to add to the record to defend your client? Let's just say this: those pictures on your phones. If you don't fucking delete them, we're coming at you with the entire power of the modern law, and we're For gonna real. get your ass out of here and basically into our own court system, which is basically a backyard in Van Nuys where we are going to punch you to death. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I did not intend on keeping these photos. In fact, I want to get them removed from my device as quickly as possible. As soon as this trial ends, I will be deleting my phone and maybe just throwing it away and buying a new one. Uh, hey, Judge. Yes? Check your phone. I will not be checking my phone. Check Baby, your phone. stop. Check your phone. Okay, I'm getting mixed signals from you, Declan's Judge, attorney, because Judge. a moment ago you said that you would sue me and potentially kill me with fists if I were to keep these images. Now you want me to look at them? Judge, Judge, you can watch if you want. I don't want. You Dude, can watch you're screwing you up this testimony. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, fuck. Um, no, uh, my Make client, your closing remarks, please, and then it's time to vote. My client did nothing wrong. He's the nicest guy I've ever met in Thank my God. entire life. He's Thank also God. the smartest kind of guy, not like in a book way, but like in like the, I mean like, if he did something wrong, then the world is wrong. Yeah, that's the way I look at it too. Yeah, ha. <laughs> All right, thank you for that testimony, Declan's attorney. And Declan, thank you. If you have any closing remarks, I encourage you to make them now because because we're gonna bring up a poll and our jurors in the chat are gonna have an opportunity to vote on your fate. 
What up? This is Declan. Saying my final remarks, I just have to say that if you guys choose me to be guilty, you're making a grave mistake. And when I say grave, y'all know what that means. You're gonna end up 600 feet under. Also, <laughs> chill. Also, I just have to say this. Y'all are being sus. I thought y'all would be anti-cringe, but you're being cringe. <laughs> Don't make me guilty or something's gonna happen to you. By the way, please do not check out threaten the jurors. I just do this, it's not that. Yeah, but you said something's gonna happen to you. Yeah, something's gonna happen to you, like you're gonna get something, some kind of sickness, like in your stomach or something. That not for feels me. like a threat. No, I do voodoos. Okay, that to me sounds like you're threatening to do you dark magic on them. You can't threaten someone with voodoos. It's literally child's play. Okay, so I don't understand then. All right. Guys, all this talk about voodoo is making me think of one of the most refreshing beverages I've ever I've ever had in my entire life. Oops, I literally, gosh, you caught me again. You're right. For real. I Another cannot, refreshing sip of Voodoo Ranger hard charged tea. I cannot stop cracking those things open for real. Like <laughs> I have not stopped peeing because literally in my bloodstream might just be that stuff. <laughs> well, yeah. it's time now to vote. So jurors in the chat, I understand there's a bit of a delay, which means uh, the votes haven't come in just yet. Oh, and look at that. Just as I say it, it appears that the votes are now coming in. So chat, jurors, Wow, this is a close one. Wow, it's very oh. close. Why is it close? It shouldn't be. All that stuff was not true. I didn't do the thing that they're, they're, y'all are saying. That's it's nearly a dead heat. Come on, you guys. Do not vote for me to go to jail. This is so dumb. I did nothing wrong. What the heck? I literally am a recovering birdist, okay? I do it th through VR. I don't even do it for real no more. Come on, this is so stupid. If he ends up being not guilty, I'll send that picture to everyone. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear that because we're gonna close out the poll now. Oh, wow, it's oh, it's getting very close again. Give it a promise. second, it's, give them a second. They all get a nude I'll if they stick it. around. If we did it a moment I'll ago. It. I'll send it. See, people like we my need, ass. All right, exactly bailiff, get your finger on the it's trigger exactly finger, what bailiff. You think it is. It's this exactly trial. what you think it is. There we yeah. go. Wow. Yeah. See? Wow. What did I say, y'all? <laughs> yes. Check out Ja Rule's album. That's what got me through this hard time, bro. Are you kidding me? An ja incredible Rule. turning of the tide. We can close that poll completely now. Declan, I didn't think it was going to happen for you, but the people have spoken, and they have entered their verdict. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? For the crime of stealing birds from their nest, the jury has entered their verdict and they have found you, Declan, not guilty. I know. Okay, we can't show that. We can't. I know, I I'm not doing it. I don't I'm think just teasing that. my baby mama. Okay. Oh my God. I encourage you to tease your baby mama somewhere else. All right. Declan, I, thank you so much. Thank you, bro. We're on different sides of the room, but thank you, I'll dap I'll dap it up regardless. Hey, yes. Yes. Check your phone. Okay, out. I will check my phone, but in the interest of time here, uh, hey judge. Yes. Check your phone. I'm checking. I'm checking it. Check, okay. Check it. Check your phone, judge. Yo, judge. Check your motherfucking phone, yeah. Check it. Oh, this one's actually not that bad. Wait, what's that in the background? Oh my god. Okay. All right. I need to go wash out my eyes. And so while I'm doing that, it's time now to go to our B game. Yes, our new B game, one that is an interrogation. We're gonna be heading back down to the police precinct where you will be helping us, uh, I guess, with an interrogation. We haven't fully figured out exactly how this one's gonna work yet, but the gist of it is the police are gonna be interrogating a series of alleged criminals perps, if you will, suspects, if you will, but only one of them really committed the crime and it'll be up for, up to you to decide whose story you believe. Uh, I guess it's kind of like this, but it's totally different. You'll, it's gonna make more sense when we get there. Uh, it's a lie detector test. Listen, we'll be back here. Uh, oh wait, I gotta, I, we need the, uh, we need our bailiff to be back at the yeah, computer to throw to this. We gotta do the whole, oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you gotta send us there. Yeah, I don't have totally, the buttons for it. Totally. Absolutely. All right, folks, we'll see you back here after this other thing.
All right. Hey there, everybody. How's everybody doing? It's me, uh, me, Officer Krupke. Not like the movie, different guy, but similar name, Officer Krupke. It's me. Uh, we're doing a little bit of an interrogation today. Now, some of you may have heard there was a crime committed recently. Does anybody remember the, the type of crime that was committed? Anybody remember the crime? We need a crime, folks. We should have probably done this during the bumper, too. Yeah, something to think about for a future reference. Folks, we need a crime. We need a crime. Maybe shoplifting. It might be something. We could do shoplifting. If we don't want to wait, we could just do shoplifting. Something to think about. Uh, nope, not that one. Not that. <laughs> Can we get another one? Another option? It's a little silly. You just sit tight there. We'll get to you in a second there. Oh, that's really pretty. That's really nice. Oh, dine and dashing. Someone did a dine and dash. Okay. All right. Well, we got a suspect. We got a positive identification here on a suspect. What's your name? My name is Belle. 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 Okay. Well, that's truth. Uh, so we got uh, one true reading. That means we got a good baseline here. All right. So, Belle, somebody saw you walking out of the restaurant without having paid for your tab. What do you got to say for yourself? I've never not paid for my tab. <laughs> I've never been in in a restaurant. <laughs> I've never seen a person. <laughs> I've never wanted to ever steal anything from anyone. No. All right. Well, you know, just because you didn't want to steal something doesn't mean that you. Uh, Maybe you did it accidentally, you know? Uh, accidental manslaughter is still a crime, you know? I've never heard of manslaughter. <laughs> is it possible you sip you... I've never heard of that. All right, let me just pull up my dictionary here. Dictionary definition of manslaughter, just to kind of clarify that for you. Just for future reference, I feel like it might be helpful for you. I don't know. Oh, I don't need to know anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's true. That's true, you know? Uh, well, tell me this. All right, so if you didn't steal the food, uh -huh. where were you the night of the 18th? Oh, I was at my birthday party. <coughs> I was at the fish aquarium. <coughs> I was moping around. <coughs> I was just uh, putting my finger in the river. All right, uh, you're trying to test the salinity. What was the move there? Oh, you no, to why fish? talk to the fish? Okay, wow. <laughs> like, They're uh, my friends. So you were talking to fish there in the river on yes. the night of the eighteenth. Is it possible maybe uh maybe before you made your way down there you had a nice a quick bite to eat at a little a local eatery? Oh well, I don't know. I usually make myself something at home. <coughs> no, I, I usually don't eat. <coughs> no, papa feeds me by hand. So you have a dad, he's a papa and he feeds you by hand, huh? That's what I said. It's one of the most fucked up, disgusting things I've ever heard. If you're not guilty, as far as I'm concerned, you might as well be guilty. Get out of here. Get out of my face. We're gonna, we're okay. gonna, we're gonna do a little bit more examination of some actual evidence. You know, we're gonna take know? a look at the, the cameras there in the restaurant. Do you know where I could use the bathroom? Oops, I already went. Very similar to. Remember that bit in uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels where Steve Martin's like, can I use the bathroom at the table? Hey, there it starts. Ah, there. all right. Hey, we're talking Martin films? <laughs> we're talking, yes, You absolutely. ever seen the one where he's got that long nose? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Wait, which one is this? Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> you just run around the store and you watch it and you have a good time. Yeah, uh, you know, I happen to be a nice cop, but for right now, I'm going to be a little bit more difficult. All right <laughs> now, is that true? We got three. I did, uh, witnesses, they're on the scene who spotted you leaving the restaurant before having paid your tip. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, I, you know, it's a crime to go to a restaurant, I'll have a couple of bites of food and walk away. Yeah, I was there. I'm not going to deny that I was there. Mm -hmm. So you were there at Prosecco Tutoria, and uh, so I understand that you ordered some linguine, and then uh, you said, oh, I'm going to use the bathroom, and then you split. That is correct. That is correct. I did leave, but after paying my tax. Mm. I did it. Uh, oh, well, all right. 
Sure, I guess I got into an altercation with the manager before. I suppose I did get up and start to belt at the top of my lungs and demand that everyone watch me as I eat my linguine. And I suppose that I announced that I had no money and therefore had to busk for my my meal and launched into my number. Extra thick linguine keeps me regular. You are. That's my song. Do you have a backing track for that, or are you just doing a cappella in there? A backing track? Well, that's not, that's not, that's not how you... Uh, what's, what's the backing track? What'd you, what'd you hit? you have a guitar there? You go to church, you scream at the choir, and you got a backing track? I'm sorry, I may be rude. You seem like a nice fella. Yeah. Hell of a nice fella. All right. Thank you. Wow, that's nice. I guess I do. I mean, is it the jet? I feel like the jacket kind of gives like sweetie vibes, you know? It's kind of nice. That's what I'm going for. It's kind of nice. You look kind of good. Mm. Ah, okay. You do look like a dweeb. You look like a professor. And I, you know. Hey. Let me ask you something. Sure. Shoot. Did you do it? Did I do it? No. Get the guy says what? What? Get the guy says what? What? What did I get beeped on? What the hell I get beeped on? <laughs> I don't know either. I can say something, any number of things. I can say something different. They got the vinegar at that restaurant is too spicy. So I mean, it sounds like you maybe did it, but look, just to cover all of our bases, we're gonna bring in one more person, one more all suspect. Right. Okay, so just sit tight. Don't go anywhere. All right. Hey, nice meeting you. Truly. Okay. Well, that's the exit door. That's the door uh -huh. that. That's the door. The door over there is the one that the. You leave, you, you leave the precinct if you I'm take that door. I'm gonna go up this ladder. Okay, that's good. We don't know where that goes. <laughs> Let us know if you figure it out. Let's bring in the next uh, suspect here. Go ahead and have a seat, Papa Squat. Okay. Yep, come on in, have a seat. Hi there, what's your name? Hello, my, hello, my name is Nathan. Nathan? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, not technically, I guess. My name is actually Travis, but I go by my middle name, Nathan. <laughs> All right, Travis. You look a little nervous, Travis. Yes, well, let's just say... Anything you want to confess to? Um, I did take a 12-minute break instead of a 10-minute break. I work at Verizon. Wow, okay, well, maybe on one of your nights off, you wandered into Prosecco Trattoria, ordered some pasta, and then split before paying the bill. Well, what do you I say to that? I actually don't have nights off. Unfortunately, <clears throat> I... Well, I guess technically, <laughs> I do work six days a week. The seventh day, I'm in church all day <clears throat> with my... What? I guess I'm lying? <laughs> okay, well, I, me and my Grammy go to church, but I guess before I do play batting practice with my cousins. <laughs> with a bowling ball. <laughs> so he gets How does strength that, our Hold arms. on a second. Hold on a second. What? Slow down. How does that work logistically? Are you using the ball, the bowling ball as a bat, or are you striking the bowling ball with a bat? No. Are you freaking crazy? <laughs> We hit the we hit the the we hit the bowling ball with our bat to strengthen our the our our hitting skills. Is it working? Yes. Look. No, it's not. <coughs> All right. Well. Okay. So Sunday after church, maybe you that happened to be one of the, you know the 18th was a Sunday, and that's when the the crime took place. So what you better do you have an alibi after church? What'd you do? Mm, I went to my church group dance. <coughs> Well, we actually went to Caro's, which, but I didn't think that people would know it. Oh, we went to Mimi's Cafe. You sick fuck! Did you go to IHOP? Did you fucking go to IHOP? Tell me the truth right now! Did yes, you go to IHOP? Yeah, we went to IHOP! What and the? I've never even been to the other restaurant. I don't like pasta. I've been to the restaurant once. I used to work there, but I got fired. You worked at Prosecco Tutoria? Why yes, were you fired? Because I, d I wasn't good uh, customer service agent for their phone calls. <laughs> Well, because I pooped in the urinal, I should have pooped in the toilet. Why did I so do that? So you have a motive. Not only were you there for Secretatoria and you had a history there, but you had every reason in the world to try to rip them off and take advantage of them monetarily no, and fiduciary kindness. No, they grabbed me literally by the ear and they threw me out on my day that I got fired and I never wanted to go back there. They threw me by both ears and one of them ripped off and I had to get it reconnected. Literally, uh, both my ears ripped off and they... And then they... Both my ears were fine, but they grabbed me like this. But they didn't grab me like that. They grabbed me one finger in my butthole and went, Yip. No, they went right in my urethra and went, Yip. No, they didn't. They grabbed me by my toes, I'll be honest. No, they didn't.
gonna lose my fingers. Help! So Sorry they, for lying, I lied so much. So no. they grabbed you by your fingers. Yep, all ten employees grabbed me by one finger. Book them, boys! No, 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 no! Book them, boys! This is the guy! He no. got grabbed by his fucking fingers. Get him in. Put him up. Look! My fingers do not Put him under the fucking my jail! My fingers do not fuck. No, okay, all right. We gotta fingers. we gotta put it to democratize this process. Okay, who's who did it? Huh? The yeah. first one, the second one, or the third one? I don't think we got the name for the second one. That's my fault. Jones, Indiana. Jones, Indiana. That's funny. It's different than the one that you think it might be. Wait, been. if I literally stand up, am I over there? <laughs> That's so funny. Let's I'm get like, a green light on that. Look at that. Can we get a green light on that? It was funny. There hey, we go. That is funny. Because, like, I'm hidden, and then if I go like this. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm, a I'm on the other side of the fence. If you hadn't committed this crime, you sick piece of shit, what would you have done with your friggin' life, huh? You want to work in Verizon the rest of your goddamn life? I hope to switch to T Mobile because this service is actually better. You can't even see me when I'm talking. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, or do I'm we gonna, fully F? I'm going to say it was the third suspect. Well, let me say this. Let me just say this and get the green light ready. When I'm finishing up, wrapping up a hard day of police interrogation work here at the Now York Precinct, I like to kick back with a nice, tall, voodoo ranger hard tea. I sit back and I watch reruns of Hill Street Blues and I drink the most delicious drink I've ever had in my goddamn life, which happens to be Voodoo Fucking Ranger, all right? You wanna know where they actually sell it now? Where? I hop, you wanna go with me? <laughs> well. All rise and welcome back, folks. It's me, Judge Learned Hand. If you're just joining us, welcome back. We've got a variety of defendants here in court today, and we're trying to decide whether or not they're guilty of the crimes for which they stand accused, and you, our jurors at home, will be helping us with that process. Now, obviously, you'll be able to help ask some questions to these defendants, but you'll also be able to submit some evidence in a variety of ways. You can subscribe, and if you do, you'll get to submit written testimony. It'll look a little bit something like this. Uh, you can also submit visual testimony, or visual evidence, I should say, pictures, on this television screen right here. And if you haven't already, you gotta join the Everything Now Show Discord, because that's how you do that. 
and uh, you can donate $5, and if you do, we will call a witness to the stand. We've talked to many interesting witnesses uh, already tonight. We've talked to Ja Rule. I was on the stand for a little while. There was a baby mama who was there for a bit. Uh, robot Andrew Lloyd Webber was there. Quite a cavalcade of characters tonight. And, of course, you can keep that cavalcade going by donating $5 and letting us know who you want to bring to the stand. And it looks like we've got someone spamming in the chat. So we're gonna ban them. But now it's time to meet our next defendant. So let's bring them out and have a listen to what their name is. Hello, how's it going, Judge? Hi there. Uh, sir, if you wouldn't mind, we need to update your case file. What is your name? My name is Roger Fade, movie producer. Roger Fade, and you're a movie producer. Well, well, welcome. Well, I was in the 1970s. Perhaps you heard I produced a series of pictures called The Wet Escapades. They starred Brick Niceman and they all, the whole whole crew of uh, beautiful faces back then. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, I didn't get out to the theaters all that much, but I'll have to take your word for it, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fade. It was crazy. you got to believe the things we did back then. We used to take a chopper over Panoga Canyon and just absolutely fly as low as possible and scare everyone down on El Nice. Ah, uh, I see. Well, a different time, I'm sure. Mr. Uh, better uh, time! Well, I suppose that's subjective. But in any event, Mr. Fade, I'm going to ask uh, our uh, our clerks in the chat now for a crime. It's probably going to be a while before they hear this to give us the crime. But jurors in the chat, if you do hear this, please let me know what the crime is for Mr. Fade here. And Mr. Fade, while we're waiting for that, uh, I want to just get a little bit more clarity on your background. Now, you said that you were a producer in the 70s. What have you been up to lately? I used to work for Farrah Fox Pictures, and this was a, a large studio. I'm talking 15 airplane hangars deep, absolutely nobody working in them. Now, <laughs> I, since then, I got kicked out of the studio process because I had the original rights to the Marvel films. These are not the Marvel films, this is Marvel with an E. Different, a whole different sort of sexual escapade. Anyways, it doesn't totally matter. I got Got kicked out. Since then, I've been living all the way at the top of Laurel Hardy Canyon. That's not Laurel Canyon. It's out past, way past Reseda. And it's just a hole I've dug in the ground. And you can build whatever the hell you want if you know the commissioner. His name is Red Dye. And Red Dye, with you trying to ban in California. <laughs> Wow, quite a, quite a life you've led, Mr. Fade. But unfortunately, it has wound you up here in court for the alleged crime of... Opening all the hydrants. Yes, Air Dictator, thank you so much for your uh, reminder to me. Uh, Mr. Fade, it appears that you've been accused of opening all the fi uh, fire hydrants here in now York, which of course, obviously, besides the waste of water, is a crime that puts a lot of people in danger if their homes or businesses were to catch on fire. Do you understand the nature of this crime? I understand it, but I reject it. Very well. Well, hopefully this is all a big misunderstanding. Uh, do you have any idea of why someone might think that you were guilty of such a crime? We once made a picture called The Wettest Man I've Ever Seen. And it was basically, it starred, it starred Horb Crux. And uh, uh, what was her name? Tilda, Tilda Dupree. And it, so in this film, we had a giant, there was a, there was an oak that grew, it grew out of the, the sins of World War II, right? <laughs> Right out of the ashes. I need you to help me understand what you mean by that. Huh? The sins? Well, both sides had something going on, if you know that. When okay. it was the 1970s! I guess... Well, everyone's gonna have a problem with movies, sorry. I, I'm not talking about the, the, the sins themselves, but what you mean when you say this tree grew out of the sins of World War II. I don't understand what that means. It was a metaphor, dear boy. I see. Okay. At that point, have you ever seen Jorodowski's Dune? You know, that sort of stuff. The Holy Mountain. And we were just getting wild. Film a tree coming out of a piece of dirt, call it a World War II picture. You make no money and have all the cocaine you could ever dream of. Anyways, in that picture, we untapped every fire hydrant in the city of Los Angeles. No permits needed, right? Just give the old mayor a hand job and give him a kiss and you're good to go. Anyways, I know how to get it done and I know who might have done it. I'll tell you this, I would have never done it. I see. Okay, so just to clarify a few points from that testimony, because... Did any, was anything I said confusing? Well, I don't know if... It, you just sort of packed a lot of facts in there, and I want to make sure our jurors follow everything. Based on my understanding, you admit to opening all the fire hydrants back in the 70s when Correct. you were producing movies, but at the time it was legal. This incident, opening the fire hydrants, took place only a week ago, and you're saying that based on your knowledge 
from your time producing movies, you might have an idea of who was the one who actually opened up the hydrants this time. That's correct. There's a series of men, one would call. I also want to just be clear that you did say that you jerked off the mayor. <laughs> Everyone was doing it. You get into a 1957 Jamiroquai Prime by Ford, and you can do anything you want. Go down La Cienega fast, 70 miles an hour, dick in mouth, doesn't matter who, doesn't matter why. We're making pictures, boy. This was Farrah Fox Studios. 15 <laughs> airplane hangar steep. No one in them. <laughs> Sounds like quite a time, uh, Mr. Fade, and I'd love to hear more of your stories from the golden age of Hollywood, but unfortunately, we've got only a limited amount of time here, and we need to get to the bottom of this case. So, sure. I want to focus us back on what you mentioned earlier about having an idea of who it might be in this modern era that criminally opened up all of hydrants here in our beautiful city of New York. So, there's a man, and his name is Terrence Bellwater. He's been moonlighting as Armenian priest in Glendale for 15 years. <laughs> he is not, all right? And that was cool back at one point, but it's not now. Anyways, he has the keys to all the water. Anyone that interacts with Terrence would essentially be a, a, a suspect. Interesting. Okay, and what is it that... Again, I feel like we have so many facts and so many trails I want to sort of pull the thread on here, but in order to keep it focused here, I need to understand what you think the motive would be for this guy, Terrence, for why he would be opening up these hydrants. And before you answer that, I also want to throw it to our jurors, who it's, I think going to take a little while for them to hear this, but jurors, if you have any questions directly for Mr. Roger Fade, go ahead and ask them now. I think by the time you hear this, we'll have talked about Terrence already and we can listen to your questions. Terrence, what is the, uh, or I'm sorry, Mr. Fade, what is Terrence's motivation? Well, Terrence, as you know, is a man you can pay to do anything. You know what I mean? He's one of those guys. You know, you hand him a $1 bill and you say, let's go. And he goes, okay. Now, essentially, <laughs> Terrence, the reason I believe he's involved is because I know him very well and he told me that it happened. Oh, okay. So, interesting. Um, I mean, I would love to get him on the stand to hear that testimony straight from the horse's mouth, but unfortunately at the time it's hearsay that he told you that. Why is it, wh why did he do that? Did he mention what his purpose was in opening up all the hydrants? So we need to cut all the way back to 1925. 1925? It's, it's me and Will Smith's grandfather, right? And we are, we are getting nuts. I am a baby at the time, right? <laughs> So essentially, we are hanging out at the hottest club in New York City, which at the time was called the Still Diamond. And it, that was a place where there were 50, it was a room with 15 angles, all of them obtuse. And uh, it, was, it was a dangerous room. Anyways, I, I guess was, it would have to be if there were 15 angles. Well, I guess there's a, a universe where the, some of them are acute, but I'm, I'm imagining like almost like a dodecahedron. Yes, like. yes. It, well, anyways, Henry Ford's son, Henry Ford II, was giving me neonatal care at the time. <laughs> <laughs> to the mouth, right? We're talking stars on stars on stars on stars. Anyways, Terrence Malwater's father is there, sperm inside him, ready to shoot. So <laughs> he meets his mother at the time, which is Linda Carter. Carter! Wow, good pull, Jimmy Bailiff. Carter's wife! Now, and I do not want to miss any aspect of this story, Mr. Fade. I swear this could be a movie in we, its own We right. turned it into a movie. It's called The Bucking of the Bronco, colon, Let's Get Naked. I am shocked I somehow missed that one. Mr. It's Fade, on though, voodoo. It's on voodoo. Wow. That's okay. a streamer, right? I'm gonna, I believe it is. We're gonna, I wanna dig deeper into this story, but we have a couple of questions here. Um, one. That's a visual evidence. Oh, video. all right. Let's take a look at the visual evidence. And I also show, wanna figure out. Show, don't tell. Okay, that's right. In the spirit of show, don't tell, could you please tell us what this image shows? So that's Bruce the Shark from Steven Spielberg's picture, Jaws. Now, I'd worked with him a couple times on a couple of pictures, and he'd been underwater the entire time, right? Finally, a Jaws fin up lead role. So now I've been hanging out with him, Terrence Malwater. As you might now, as you might imagine, if one were to own a shark, say Bruce the shark, he's got a trust, right? He's got lawyers on lawyers on lawyers. If he had a son and that son lived in LA, a famous trout town, and there was a shark living in Beverly Hills and there is water restrictions, what do you think he would do? I don't know. I suppose one option would be to access the city's water supply in some way. Sounds like you did it. Well, no, I'm just saying that's what one might do were they in that position, but certainly I was not in that position. I was probably here hearing cases. 
True. Now, Mr. Fade, uh, we had a question here from one of our jurors who wanted to uh, know if you were to... Okay, there's a lot of different questions here. Sure. First of all, and I, I don't know if this is necessarily an appropriate question, but it speaks to your credibility, I suppose. Are you currently on any drugs? And if so, which are they? No, not at all. What are you talking about? Uh, well, I suppose, what classify a drug? If your doctor prescribes it to you and you take 15 of them, is that a drug? I, I mean, technically speaking, yes, but I'm speaking more to illicit substances that might uh, affect your ability to testify truthfully or recall certain events. Anything like that? I'll tell you this. You get a room full of actors on cocaine and you'll get more truth than lies. <laughs> Okay, sort of answering a question with a question, but uh, <laughs> it appears that we've got a $5 donation here from Ice Cream Cone. Thank you so much for that, and uh, we'll find out who the witness you want to bring to the stand is in a moment. Uh, but I want to get back to that yes. interesting story you were telling just a moment ago, Mr. Fade, uh, with the president and the president's wife. And uh, I would love to figure out how that all ties in right. to just Terrence's alleged use of the water a week ago, because this these events are taking place over a hundred years ago. So now I'm curious about how, which would put, make you over a hundred years old or just about a hundred years well, old. Well, as you know, IV clinics and all kinds of places, stem cells, there's still diamond, 15 angles, all of two. It's neonatal care, Henry Ford II. Right, there well I am, up. right? Yes. Huh? And I'm sorry, I was just- Terrence Malwater's a sperm and his father's sack rate is shooting to Linda Carter, right? So cut to the White House, 1969. Kennedy is dead as a doornail. And I finally, I'm there to jazz it up, you know what I mean? Cool cats get invited to the house to see the pictures. You know what I mean? The president doesn't want to see the pictures alone. He wants to get them over and show him the pictures, the guy who made it. So anyways, I'm there. Terrence is there. Linda Carter's there. I say, were you the sperm in that guy's sack and still diamond 15 years ago? You recognized him as the sperm in another man's testicle? If you saw him, he looks exactly the same. Wow, that is hard to believe, but unfortunately, we're just going to have to trust you. I don't want to cut you off, uh, Mr. Fade, but I Please. have to now because we've got a witness on the stand and we need to hear their testimony. So, uh, Bailiff, are we prepared to hear yes, from this witness? Witness, if you wouldn't mind, please state your name for the record. Hello, everyone. I'm <laughs> Terrence Malwater here. Wow, great. Okay, this is perfect, actually. Now, Mr. Malwater, I don't want to alarm you, but we do have a defendant on the stand right now, Mr. Roger Fade, who apparently you've known since you were a sperm. Yes, uh, I, I sure have. Uh, just to catch you up, if you weren't here for the beginning of the trial, Mr. Uh, Fade here has accused you of being the one who actually opened up all the fire hydrants here in New York. How would you respond to that? Well, that makes sense that he would, because I did. Okay, well- Not do it. <laughs> oh, okay. There'd be absolutely no way I could have. Interesting, okay, well, uh, do you have an alibi of some sort? Oh, I think I've come down with something. <laughs> I'm sorry, well- uh, <laughs> This is classic Terrence, classic <laughs> Terrence. Uh, I, it seems like you're able to still testify, if you would, Terrence, unless it's something oh, that really prevents you- I'd really like to, I'd really like to very much, but I just think I might have gotten sick at the Armenian church. Cause you know, I'm the priest at the Armenian church. He's been church. moonlighting as an Armenian priest. Yeah, this is my priest garb here. I see, uh, you know, I'm not particularly familiar with the Armenian church, so I can't speak to the credibility of that particular piece of garb, however- Well, sure you can. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I don't. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Malice, I don't want to take up too much of your time here, but it seems you are the perfect person here to testify. If you don't think, if you weren't the one who uh, opened these fire hydrants, who do you think might have done it? Well, first off, my last name's Malwater. Sorry, Malwater. Standing I... for bad water, because I don't believe water's good, so I'd never drain it from a, 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 a place that it shoots out. The only thing I want to be shooting out is sperm. Okay, that seems to be a thread that we're kind yes. of following here. Well, uh, I've been well, around for a really long time, 195 years old, so. <laughs> yeah, you guys are older. Wait, no, you're, you were a sperm in 1923. Nobody, he's, well, he's lying, he's lying, he's lying on his nah. age. Let's be truthful here. Well, so how, how old are you, Terrence? 255. Yes. I'm two, yes. Okay. Oh, I'm That's how old I am. I yes. apologize. All right. I, I suppose the age isn't necessarily important here. What's important here is who opened up these fire hydrants a week ago. Terrence, do you have any idea who it might have been? Well, it could have been the birds that were stolen from that nest from that uh, trial earlier, from that man who was... Who said not guilty, but surely he was guilty. You think the birds opened up the fire hydrants? Oh, yes. Even birds have uh, 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 extra appendages that you can't even see. 
Hello? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, I was just like trying to understand what that means. Well, basically what it means is birds are kind of like a Swiss army knife, but they're not from Switzerland. See, they're from wherever they want to be, and they have extra little pieces that they can pull out of their wings and stuff and, and be able to open things up. So that's what happened. That's what they did. Exactly. Seems pretty clear to me, Judge. It's interesting testimony, and I'm not sure if I necessarily agree with it, but it's what we've got. So, Mr. Uh, Malwater, if there's any other evidence or testimony you'd like to enter into the record now before we let you go, I want to give you that opportunity now. Well, I'm feeling much better, so you can ask me, oh, I think I'm coming down with something. I better go. Oh, man. Uh, the, the last thing I want to say is that this man is a crook. Just kidding, he's not a crook, he's a good guy. <laughs> okay, please please don't do that because we've got a record and a stenographer who's writing all this down and when you give testimony and then you're like, just kidding, that was all fake, it really fucks up the well, record. Well, guess what? You're being a bit challenging. Okay. Sounds like I said bitch. It fuck did. you, get wrecked. Thank uh, you, I'm out of here. Okay, don't say fuck you, that's not... Oh, what? That I will hold you in contempt. Come Mr. on! Ah, oh, come on! All come right, on. all right, okay, all right, we're having fun, we're but having seriously. Fun all right, baby. take care, Mr. Malwater. Now... Uh, Roger Fade, uh, a lot of testimony there, a lot of contradictory testimony. Uh, that testimony not only contradicted your age, but also introduced some potential evidence that it wasn't you, which would, I guess, help your case. Um, but do you want to speak to anything about the birds or about uh, that testimony? And do you have anything you want to clarify based on Mr. Malwater's testimony? I was a PA on the set of Hitchcock's Birds, right? So he's a big, he's a big man, right? And he's directing with the most angry voice I've ever heard a man ever have in their entire life. And we've got all these birds, and they're rigged up on strings, right? And they're going up and down, sort of like, have you ever seen Freddy Got Fingered? I can't say that I have. There's this famous scene in Tom Green's Freddy Got Fingered where Daddy likes some sausage or bouncing up and down with the keyboard. Similar type of thing with the birds. Anyways, Ed has always given me a disdain for the avian creature, right? Because the birds on that set were not real. So, and because, because birds are too dangerous. That's why they're not wow. in the guild. I feel like I'm really being uh, given a peek behind the curtain here of Hollywood magic. You ever seen an ostrich in SAG? I can't say that I have. Exactly! You're making some compelling points here, Mr. Fade, and although it's not up to me, I'll just let you know now that you've convinced me of quite a few things here, although your innocence may not yet be one of them. However, it's not uh, quite time for our jurors to vote, and I want to give another witness an opportunity to testify here. Uh, I also think I saw somebody ask if they donate $20 if they can bring four people to the witness stand. We'll try. I don't oh, know. I, I don't know how that would work. We don't have that many three. witnesses. You do three. That might be a good button. Also, okay. no, no one paid for this witness. I'm not sure. Who, All right. Well, let's just hear fine. what they have to say. We don't uh, have, we don't have witness, let's make talk. this quick because it's technically for free. From Linda Carter. <gasps> wow. Miss Carter, Mrs. Carter, uh, what is it that brings you to our uh, to our courtroom today? Well, it seemed like you guys were having a good time. I said, okay, I'll go over there and see what hap so what's happening. I, I would love to pitch a picture to you guys. I have a picture idea. Shoot, Linda, shoot! Okay, picture this. You're on a yacht. Miles away from any sort of land, yes. then you find a dead man. Oh no, dead man! Ooh. What are you going to do with the dead man? Oh, you see the dead man. He is in fact Mr. Carter, my husband. Okay, now we got Margot Robbie and Senorita Botswana. Yes, they're both there. And then hey oh, gun. Yes. They find a gun. Yeah, yep. Next thing you know, you're back on land. <laughs> All right, I. Had a hard time following that, if it's I'm being totally lit, baby. honest. I'm oh, resurrecting God. Farrah Fox Studios. I'm going to give you a budget of uh, 50. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got more? You I got need, more? Hold on. I need uh, 15 airplane hangers to make this thing work. As are you okay with nobody being inside them? No one can be inside. We're making a movie, baby. Okay, we are not oh, making a movie. Kenny. This is not about. This is not a pitch meeting. All right, this is very serious, Miss Mrs. Carter. I'm not sure if you're aware, but the man who you're currently dealing with to potentially produce this picture is on trial for a very serious felony offense of unleashing all of the water in our city's water supply through the fire hydrants. Do you understand hold on, that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you talked to Terrence? Yes, we just spoke with Terrence. He said that the so birds did. Say my did name. It. Anything they need to know? <laughs> oh yes, Terrence. Didn't you do the water thing with the with the fire hydrants? No, it couldn't have been me. But Jed, Judge, check your phone. Yeah, phone. Judge, uh, check your phone. God damn it! God, stop that! Ow! You need to stop that. You cannot keep doing that. Oh wow. Sorry. 
I, I sent you something, but I sent you a telegram. Have you seen it yet? I don't think so. I think it's on its way here. We'll maybe take a you look at it You gotta see the way this woman sends a telegram. The bips and baps and the space in between will get your dick hard. Uh-oh, okay, my uh-oh, dick uh-oh, canonically spoon, cannot get hard that anymore. That spoon that we were talking about? We've got, we got to read this testimony beep, 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 from beep, a witness. Beep, 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 beep. I Fight for Them says, There's a rumor that Roger Fade had multiple three-ways with John er- uh, Ehrlichman and H.R. He- uh, Haldeman. Uh, when he was at the White House, he hit Nixon's back Berlin Wall. That's not true. I fucked the no. Cuban operatives, but not those guys. That's, that's Thank you for clearing that up. That's The only one fucking in the White House was me. Trust me, baby. Ooh. Trust me, baby. On the desk. And I was I was in the Oval Office. I was in the, the maid's room. I was in the, the butcher's block. I was in the, you know, the computer lab. We were all doing it all, all the time, everywhere. I was doing it with a, everywhere, all the time, all at once. Uh, all, all at once, everywhere, all the time. Sounds yeah, like com- Jimmy was farming your peanut, huh? Farming my peanut? More like farming his penis. Oh! Okay. I feel like we've <laughs> lost the point of what we're here to do, this, folks. This I know this. Movie. No, you shut up, Mr. Fade, oh, because I'm getting... No, you I shut up, too. Really no, quick. no, you cannot, Linda Carter. No, you cannot. Hey, folks, judge, calm down. Judge, calm bailiff, down. I will not calm down because all you right. guys are making a mockery out of this process, all right? I feel like you guys are treating this like it's some sort of fucking comedy show. There are lives on the I line have, here, right, okay? No, judge. you shut the, you shut the fuck something. up, Linda Carter. You I shut just, the fuck up. You let me talk. This is a goddamn serious... This is a serious courthouse, and I will not be treated like some sort of fraud... Like some sort of joke, okay? Okay, this is my job. Judge, you need a snack? No, I do not need a snack. I need a witness and a defendant who will pay attention. Judge, juice box? Yes, I would like a juice box, but it's not... our show thank you so much for joining us we are the everything now show we do this show four nights a week every monday tuesday thursday and saturday thank you so much for sticking with us i know we had a little bit of technical trouble there but a bunch of you stuck it out and we really appreciate that we're gonna try to figure that out um but what a blast uh if you haven't already follow the everything now show right here on twitch so that you get notifications when we go live because we go live at all these times But if you follow us, you'll get a nice little go live reminder to come on by. We won't be doing a show, uh, no, we will be doing a show tomorrow night. Yes, tomorrow night is Tuesday. So if you had fun at this one, come on back tomorrow night. There'll be a brand new episode. It will not be the courtroom. It will be something completely different. Y'all like Twitch? (laughs) Hey, y'all like Twitch? You know Austin Show, remember him? From the TV? Y'all know about Austin Show? Y'all know about Austin Show? Do you know Austin Show from Twitch? Well, he's going to be... He's going to be on the show tomorrow night. On the show tomorrow night. We're playing Party Quest with the Austin Show of the Austin Show. Uh, So if you're a fan of Austin Show, come on back tomorrow night. And if you're not a fan of Austin Show, you don't know who that is, well, you're going to get acquainted with him tomorrow night for Party Quest. So definitely come on by for that and uh, give us a follow on all these other social media platforms as well. We post behind the scenes stuff uh, here on the uh, Instagram, although I think this was maybe the third show in a row where we forgot to take any behind the scenes photographs. Grant, is that true? Yep. Great. Uh, We also have a TikTok. You can follow us there. And we've got two Twitch channels, this main one right here where uh, you can see the show, but also a Hangout channel where eventually we will be doing gaming content, probably when I graduate from law school. Uh, Is there anything else, Grant? Oh, join the Discord, all the evidence. All the evidence uh, on the TV screen during tonight's show. That was submitted by you, our viewers at home, in our Discord. So if you want to submit images for us to use on the show, you gotta join the Discord, folks. It's a great community. You gotta get in there. Grant, is there anything else you want to tell these people? Folks, shows like tonight can't happen with just the two of us. It has to take a special series of guests who do some incredible work, and it happened tonight. It happened tonight, folks. Tonight, something magical happened, and you all got to participate in it, and it involved three people, three individuals, and they're here right now. They're still here. They didn't leave. It's Blake, it's Isabel, it's Kenny. Come on out. 
Come on out of your three, stand under the Everything Now Show sign, hit a little pose for the Instagram post that we might not be able to do because we forgot to take any BTS, but we'll probably post that anyway. Great work. Uh, folks, you are all so fantastic. Is there anything that you want to tell the people at home about? Any plugs, any messages you want to impart on the audience of the Everything Now Show? Yes. I, uh, follow me on Instagram, I'll be, I'm releasing a, uh, a podcast coming out very soon. Uh, and you can, <laughs> I have a monthly character and sketch show, two different shows, at the Broadwater in uh, Los Angeles, and I'm also doing a show at Edinburgh Fringe, so follow me on Instagram and see all that. Well, if you're an Irishman, he's gonna be in Ireland. Uh, Scotland. It's the same thing. <laughs> and I'm going on tour this week. If you're in Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, or San Diego, Southern California, tickets are available on my, on my link tree. You could just check me out. Look up Blake Rozier, and you'll find it. Uh, Linktree.com slash Blake Rozier. I know a lot of you folks live in those cities. You're not for here for our live shows in LA, but you can go to a Blake show. Come out. That's happening. Be awesome. Make it happen, folks. Make it happen, folks. Make it happen, folks. Make it happen, folks. Give it up for right. Grant and Jake. Yay! They did, it's just the two Grant of them. Jake, yeah. Amazing show. Folks, we're going to send you over to friend of the show, A Trey, who was just on our show a little while ago. Uh, give them some Everything Now show love. Say or hi to A Trey. I like to call us. her I Trey. That's right. That is not how you say it. Uh, <laughs> we are going to send you over to her. Say hi to A Trey for us and come on back here tomorrow night. For Austin Show Party Quest. She looks a lot like Yay. Fiona Apple. Goodbye. I said that during the show, and I couldn't tell if she liked it or not. Oh, but no. She looks, I mean, Fiona Apple's awesome.